everyone, it's Carrie's Little Piggies here and today's video is going to be a vlog video. I haven't done one of those in a while actually and I thought I'd definitely do one today because we are going to visit our dear friend Jen with North Star which used to be Coastside Cavi. So over a year ago we did do a vlog in visiting Coastside Cavi. So North Star is a local small animal rescue and they used to be called Coastside Cavi, but then the two rescues merge and now they're just North Star which has a huge presence here in Northern California and our dear friend Jen is the director of North Star now so we just did a full cage clean on everybody's cage and the babies of course just have the little princess theme that you've seen before and here are the Titans having their little morning pellets and their cage today is just the girly spring woodlands cage. So we are not taking the piggies with us on this outing, but we will be back in just a few hours. So they'll be totally fine. But we will miss you, huh, Titans? And of course I can't forget to say goodbye to Marmy. Marmalade! <laughs> Hi, Marm! Good morning, are you awake today? Hi, how you doing, baby? <laughs> Hi, sweetheart, you want a treat, baby? You're my baby. Aww. <laughs> and Marmy's cage for this month is just pretty and pink. <laughs> Okay, so tell us about the hoarder rats. Okay, so we're helping clear out a, um, a house right now of, uh, it was four to five hundred uh, two weeks ago, but at this time there's That's probably crazy. more like at least a thousand and there'll probably be oh. two thousand very soon because all the females are pregnant. Um, there is some in cages and then there's a lot that are running free and breeding in the wall. Okay. Um, they are just popping out babies left, right, and center. The only really good thing about it though is they're actually pretty social and friendly rats like this person did really love the rats oh gosh like, without a doubt she just got out of control and got and, under it and so, where are all the rats that you've removed so far so we've got some at hssv uh, some are going to uh, sfacc uh, some are going to marin some are going to humane society some are going to sonoma humane society oakland oh will be goodness. taking a big group because we're starting our animal uh, program there, small animals. 
Um, and we've got a ton of moms and babies in foster homes. Oh my gosh. In foster homes being socialized and, and then they'll be ready for adoption. We've already had quite a few adopted though. That's um, great. I would say at least 12 so far. And, uh, you know, they weren't available at first, so it's, okay. uh, it's pretty good. <laughs> and there are a lot of them in these cages here. Yeah, there's tons of them. We've got a mom and a bunch of little toddlers in here. We've got a bunch of toddler boys in here. Oh, goodness. Uh, they're adorable, too. <laughs> Hi, there we go. There's faces. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Come here. Look at that teddy bear face. Oh, hello. Oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> Hi there! Oh, oh my, my gosh, that is so adorable. I know, it's way too cute. <laughs> and are you going to come out further so we can see I know. you? Hi, you're Hi. so cute. Oh, you grabbing Aww. my finger? You grabbing my finger? They're so curious. No, they're so sweet. <laughs> they're really friendly. I mean, we've dealt with a lot of hoarding rats, and, and quite often they can be very feral, but these guys are not. Who's this? At all. Who's this? <laughs> oh my gosh, Hi, look how cute. cute you are. And then there's some in here. Yeah, there's a, a few in here that came and they had really bad tumors, so we need to have those uh, operated on. And then we have um, all the females that are on pregnancy watch or toddlers. Oh my gosh, here. There's some newer ones. They're not new, new. They're probably about a week old. But oh my gosh. And the toddlers babies. picking out some of their stuff. Oh. Oh, that's so cute. I've been trying to take them in in stages so it's not too insane all at once. Okay. But, um, but, but how many more do you think you need to get? Probably, probably 200. I'm oh. not 100% sure though because, you know, it depends on like how many are left in cages and stuff. Though. So here's her tumors. Oh, poor baby. Yeah, it's okay. We're going to have them operated on, aren't we? Yay. I think probably this week, as soon as we can get them in now because we had to wait, raise raise enough funding um, to take care of them before we took them in. <laughs> yeah, so there's more tumors there too. Uh, and That one actually could be an abscess, but because um, it's kind of high up. Usually the mammary tumors are underneath like that one was. Oh, Hi! Look at them. That's all of the, um, of the, hoarder. the hoarding rats in the cages there. And then we have all these maternity bins here, which are just either one or two mommies with their litters of babies. Okay. And then we have one more cage up here that has all the boys that I took out that were so injured and I started treating them and I thought they're probably going to be need to be put down. It was that bad. Oh, God. And they've come around. Good, so like good. four or five days after I started treating them, they were like, started to look good already, and I was like, oh my god. So these They're are a little feisty though, like I need to get them out of there and get them, well I need to get them all neutered. Yeah. And then it'll be less Much better. We yeah. have a, a pair of the hoarding rats here that are going into foster care, or I, I can't oh. remember if they're being adopted or if it's until 717. How many fosters have you found for oh, them? Oh gosh, we'd have to ask Carissa, but I know she's had at least 10. Oh wow, um, that's great. With people taking either like for pregnancy watch females or a um, mom or two with their babies. Because um, we send these tubs home and we give them food and give them everything so they just have to kind of go through the, so we can get them out to adopt them. And these guys came in for um, they were, oh. they were uh, HSSV, someone had to surrender their whole colony of seniors. Oh. And so they um, they weren't gonna, they took um, eight from us from the hoarding situation. Uh -huh. And they told me that we'd take more, we had these seniors. We love seniors! We love them. <laughs> so anyways, they took more. They took six more um, of oh, the hoarding rats so too. Hi! Oh my gosh, You're so at handsome. Look at that. Oh! Like yes. eyebrows. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so cute. How oh, freaking handsome! Oh, they are. <laughs> they are. They're adorable. They are. Look at their fur. I, I love know. the coloring of they, them. They feel like there's some kind of Rex mix or something. And then we the got the piggies. Okay, these? these three here. Tell us about these three. These three came from the Yolo County. Um, I think it's SPCA, but it might be Animal Control. I'd have to look at it again. Um, these were um, from a cruelty case that was, uh, th they were found in the back of a U-Haul where many animals um, expired from the heat, and most of them rabbits, I believe. Oh. They're beautiful. The mom They're herself so is only maybe four months old, maybe max five, oh. but I think four. It's and so then sad. the babies are like less than two months or wow. around two months now. So yeah, they're all doing really good though. I'm really happy that they came here and they're having a good chance Yay. to 
gets, oh, no. you know, acclimated and feels safer before we... And then mm. our local resident uh, uh, celebrity Milo here, who's <laughs> uh, got to be almost 11 now. He's wow. been 10 for a long time, so... Wow. Uh, and we do know for sure of his age, which usually we don't in rescue, but we just happen to know his age, and we can't believe he's still with us, but he's just darling. I know, darling. he is so cute. He looks after all the new piggies that come in. You find them all laying with him. And, and there's right, all the know. new piggies. There's yeah. four other boys in here. <laughs> yeah, there's another really old guy here who has really weak back legs. His Aww. name's Don. We thought he was going to pass a few times, too. He's really darling. Aww. But he just keeps on. He's got a really, like, strong spirit, so. Yeah. Okay. You know, we're not going to fight him on it. Like, go for it. And then yeah. this is another cage. Yeah. Who's in here? We've got all kinds of special piggies in here. This is Haley. Haley's our two-legged piggy. She Aww. came um, with three legs, but she had such bad bumblefoot, and the other one oh. had to be removed, too. Hold on, Haley. Let's, let's just show them your legs. <laughs> Because not everybody's seen a guinea pig with no legs. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah. we're about to start a campaign to help her um, to get a wheelchair, I know. Aww. But she's gotten so strong now. We used to have to keep her in a really like confined area. Yeah. And now she's in the whole colony on her own and her Aww. back legs have gotten her really strong. So she's okay. got a, a mix of piggies down here. We've got Millie who has the head tilt. She's sweet. Aww. A couple baby girls. Oh, good. And then we have a neutered male in here, Alex. There he is. Oh, oh. well, there he was. There he was. There he is. He's so handsome. Oh, And then that's him. the mommy of the babies right there. Oh, okay. He's really cute. She's like the gray and white, which you know you don't see that yeah, often. Yeah, I know. Really pretty. I love that coloring. And the final thing that I wanted to show you to end this vlog is our little haul. Everything that is sold at Dandelion Dreams goes back to help the rescue. So of course I try to do as much as I can to support the rescue and their work. And I'm really, really excited about these things here. These are two new products that North Star and Dandelion Dreams have come out with in order to help support the rescue. If you look on their Facebook page, you'll know more details about it. And I actually plan on doing a separate video on it. And this here is a footprint kit. And inside this cute little box are all the supplies that you'll need to make a cherished footprint keepsake of any of your furries. And I will be doing a video on this because I do want to show you how easy it is to make these footprints. And these here are just extra clay sets for the footprint kit so that I can use some of the stuff in here to make more footprint kits so I can get all of my piggies and marmalade. And this here is the Piggy Petty. The ingredients are coconut oil, almond oil, raspberry, and mint, and it's completely all organic. This is good for their feet to keep their feet soft and wherever else you might need some kind of softness for dry skin. And I may or may not have picked up something else from North Star that I will show you in a later video, I'm sure. But I hope you enjoyed the vlog, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.